Hello everybody. Lumis here from Failing at Gaming. And uh, as I recklessly promised, we're starting out with some Rocket Knight adventures. I'm determined that we will get the crazy hard completion someday. So how are you all? You having a good day? I love this game, and let's see if we if I still love this game after I eventually get that win. Uh, can we... Excuse me? Can I actually start, please? Thank you. <laughs> Wouldn't let you leave the host? Are my viewers getting abducted? <laughs> Who was I hosting today? Was it Typical Fantasy? I was chatting to her earlier, I imagine she's still around. The Dragon Feeny, okay. She was one of my favorite streamers when I started out, but I don't normally have time to watch her stuff anymore, which makes me a bit sad. There are a lot of Canadian streamers, it seems. Yeah, I think... I mean, I think Feeny is in, like, a big group of Canadian streamers. Yeah, I guess streams are big in Canada. Yeah, Feeny's an eternal font of positivity, but I'm usually, uh, usually streaming myself around the same times that she does, so it's been a bit of a shame lately. Somebody online said it's because it's too cold to go out. <laughs> Seems fair. What else are you gonna do? I think Kalastasia, who I've hosted before, he's... I think he's in Finland? He's right at the north, and he's mentioned that. He's pretty much snowed in all winter. So he doesn't even work in winter, because his, his whole business closes down. So he, uh, takes the winter off to do a whole bunch of streaming every year. really cool. It must be fun to have a season to yourself. Especially if that season involves not being able to leave the house. I could go for a little of that myself. Whoop. Okay. We're in trouble, guys. I botched it. I botched it. He's out of control! Okay. That was a test, I was just making sure you are paying attention. In retrospect, that should have been a cooler moment. The the tank roaring across the waterfall, people screaming, Get out of the way! He's out of control! Anyway, all the bosses on the first level have an extra life right in front of them, so you can't really lose anything here. I've watched it again. What is what is wrong with me today? There we go, now he's in his pattern. Or not. Where are you going, sir? Just, just stay over there, okay? What is this? This tank's not falling right. I swear. 
I don't think I've ever had this problem before, but I cannot get the tank to fall in the right pattern. Why is it so hard to get this tank to fall down a waterfall in a specific way? And now we're doing this, we're going backwards. Today is gonna be a thing, guys. Remember last week when I was playing badly and didn't get very far? Welcome to this week. Ah, I'm alright. It's been a bit of a long day. But I'm getting by. How are you doing? Are you good? Uh, let's do this right this time. There we go. Nope. Almost lost it, but I didn't. See, as long as I get him in this pattern, he's fairly safe. But because I so consistently get him in that pattern, if he gets out of it, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Alright, let's take flight. You too, Burzum? My host is kidnapping people, apparently. Sent there five times, ooh. Norellin was saying that he couldn't get away. Must be because uh, Feeny's a positivity streamer. You guys are getting magnetized. Try and be less negative. Uh oh, I botched it. Oh, there we go. Sort of our fault for showing up before you start, maybe. Not 100% sure how that works. Edginess is limitless. Somebody smiles on the other side of the planet and you get hurled in that direction. What the? None of you saw that. Crushing Divinity 2, definitely playing it wrong. How are you playing it wrong? How are you finding it? I thought it was. It seemed like a really good game, but I, we lost our save in it. Uh, me and Burzum lost our co-op save in it, and I got a little bit salty about that. I was, I was really invested in that save. Did not feel like starting over. Do everyone's quest kill them then loot them is his person's strategy, huh? I mean, I don't know if that's an invalid way to play the game. If your character is a psychopath. Yeah, I remember the game being very characterful and the, uh, whoop. See, I have mixed feelings about the combat. On the one hand, the combat is amazing. It's really good, really fun, but it does take a long time to do. I often have the issue in RPGs where I start to find the combat boring and I just want to explore the story. Each new fight, I just groan. And on the one hand, it avoids that by having the fights be actually fun, but on the other hand, as I say, they do take a long time. I 
an easier difficulty setting it would be faster but also easier. Yeah, easiness is not desirable. First one is glacially slow in every respect. To be fair, most parts of this of the second one are pretty slow, I think. We had to download a mod just to increase the uh, the walk speed because your characters move so slowly. Here's how slowly the the characters move. Before we started playing, Burzum had installed a mod that made the characters move three times as fast. And when we started playing, I complained that the characters were moving so slow. That is how slow it was. You usually get an entire turn to combat and then it's 10 minutes per round. I do like that you can get entire turns into combat and the game doesn't break from it. I remember Baldur's Gate 2, you can start massive fights, but usually the, uh, you know, you're probably not going to be able to finish the story afterwards. You get every NPC in the city fighting you and it kind of falls apart. Every other round featuring everyone healing each other, yeesh. Yeah, the multiplayer is really well implemented. Well, I'm out. I mean, they, they obviously set out with the intention of making a multiplayer RPG as, as the very basis of the thing. Cause it's, it, it's tied into every part, works really well. Rock, paper, scissors mechanic for resolving disputes. This one actually, uh... Actually amps it up kind of quite a bit. That you both choose dialogue options. And, uh, different, di different dialogue options proc off of different stats, and it's like... Contested stats. So if one of you wants to do one thing and the other one wants to do another thing, then it depends who can make the better argument for it based on the relevant stat. Which works really well. My only problem was that, uh, you know, obviously you don't get dialogue options for everything. You can't always be there to uh, keep an eye on your fellow player, so sometimes I'd solve an area diplomatically and I'd come back later to find that Burzum had murdered the entire town. I was like, these, these people were my friends, my family, and more importantly, I had unfinished quest lines. But you know. There's gotta be a bit of give and take in your teamwork, I suppose. Oh! The first one he shows the dialogue and then it goes to rock, paper, scissors with the points for each round being based on the stat assigned to that dialogue. Okay! So there was more to that than I thought. It's not just... You rock, paper, scissors to see who decides. This guy used to be a joke and then the last two weeks he's ruined me. Why am I getting worse at this guy? Have I forgotten how to do this? get to this phase. There we go. <laughs> you played cop, you had to do that to each other. What, the, uh, the dialogue options or the uh, murdering each other's NPCs? Oh uh, wait, was 
Oh, was the dialogue with the NPCs also rock, paper, scissors? With your stats? It wasn't just the co-op where you rock, paper, scissors? I kept beating him. Did he choose? Did he choose uh, rock every single time? Perhaps holding his arm high in the air. Sending items to each other thing was fun. It was a little bit exploitable in that you could just send stuff straight out of the dungeon to the shops so you'd never have to worry about heavy loads. Uh, charge please. Why did I do that? Why did... why... Oh. I let go of my thing too early for some bizarre reason and I didn't charge up to dash to safety. Hated being in the market in Sicil though. Too many NPCs? But yeah, quite often I'd be going along and I'd be like, okay, why, why did I suddenly get completely immobilized. What happened? Why can't I move? And Burzum would be like, you're, you're near the town, right? I just sent you 50 massive paintings that I looted from a... from a mansion. And I'd be like, okay, okay that's, that's that's cool, I can sell those, but uh, the issue was that I was jumping up between rooftops when I suddenly weighed 500 tons. I mean, the real game was to pick up like an entire barrel or crate or something, stuff it full of really heavy stuff, and then just send it to your teammate at the worst possible time, just so that they'd suddenly not be able to move. Just do that over and over again, just trading the barrel between you. The traders have two lines each, they shout, and both are annoying. Oosh. Just like a real market. This is why I don't go outside. Actually, I'm lost in putting on a play. <laughs> Just trying to look busy in case your boss is watching while you uh, investigate this murder. Just like real work. Solve it, then yeah, Angel gave it the game as a bad job. Yeah, did it start to get tiring then? 
Or was it just that that murder was too hard to solve? And you couldn't face the shame? I'm also remembering the inventory system that I bought a whole bunch of old socks. I would just occasionally send one to Burzum. Just to clog up his inventory that little bit more. Do you like investigating an actual murder? No quest markers here. <laughs> yeah, we don't want any of this... Too much realism in games these days. <laughs> Beast in his collection of body parts. Hey, that wasn't me sending you junk. You were deliberately trying to assemble an entire human body in Beast inventory. <laughs> yeah, all in a little bag. Alright, alright, I'm going. Chill. Following people of motives for murder and will deny it if asked. Enjoy. <laughs> Just accuse one of them and hope for the best. I thought I'd counted wrong, but uh, no, I got it right. You did, they just deny it. <laughs> Kill one of them so that they can't defend themselves anymore. Towards Beast was a madman with <laughs> raving murder. Of course, he was a quest character, so in conversation, he actually just chatted like a sailor. I don't think I ever actually spoke to him. I just got all my information on him from you, and you just made him into this melee nightmare who carried bodies and collected old socks and things. Every suspect has a guard. Okay, so you needed to get actual, uh, actual evidence to convince them. I mean, it's like a game of Cluedo. You gotta, you gotta rule out the people who. Uh, you gotta look for pe things that rule out people's excuses. Have to build a case and don't really have any legal authority. So people won't actually, you know, necessarily answer questions or stuff. Unless it involves sorcery. Hey, that's a brilliant idea. Just uh, just use your sorcery to uh, summon the victim. Night of the murder, get lost. You know, every writer and his dog wants to spell sorcery with uh, a U so they can make a, a sauce pun. Whoever originally decided the way that you actually spell it, they definitely slipped up. Set fantasy writing back by decades. Okay, we're gonna do this the safe way. I kept botching it the other way last time.
be fair, doing it the fast way used to be the safe way for me, because I used to mess up this phase a lot, but I've gotten the hang of this phase. So it's actually the other phase that I tend to mess up now. No! What am I doing? Use my defensive maneuver on the arm that wasn't going to reach me. Like, have I never played this game before? The shame. I'm telling you, I'm getting worse at this game. Let's try no death one. It's about to be a death one in real life if I do that again. Look, the chicken's already left. That's that's how shameful my playing is today. Anytime you want to explode. There we go. This engine would be perfectly acceptable if it didn't have arms. Yeah, I bet the fat controller's not very happy about that. He's probably. Probably spent years uh, trying to keep arm technology away from the engines. I, I just threw that one away. On the phase I just said I was good at. The arms are what make it creepy, yeah. There's also the fact that it has two faces. When you blow up the face at the front, a face appears at the back. I didn't even get past the train boss. This is. I'm getting. I'm telling you, I'm getting worse at this. I used to be good at games, and now I'm not. Some Thomas engines have two faces, too. Wait, do they? I can't picture any that do it. Rocket Knight Adventures sequel when? That actually is a sequel. It's not very good, though. Main and League gonna play together sometime. I mean, I mean, you're always welcome to show up for the team streams, Burzum. In fact, I'd actively encourage it. Is this not the sequel? It's the timeline is very confused. In in some places, the other game was released first. So in some places, it's, it, this game's the sequel, in other places, the other game's the sequel. Might actually make this Friday's one? Hey, that's gonna be awesome. I think Lady Meow's gonna make it too, so that's gonna be four of us. I should pass to Diz and see if we can make it a full five. So yeah, w which game came first depends on which region you're in. And also there's... So this game came out on both the uh, the NES... The, uh, the SNES and the Mega Drive. The other game only came out on the Mega Drive, but a different ca game came out for the SNES that replaces it. I've never actually played the SNES one. So maybe I should look into that sometime. You guys, do you guys want to see the uh, the other game for the Mega Drive? I was going to do Wonder Boy yet, but I'll not complain too much if we delay that. Okay, I'll be back in two minutes then.